throwing things out, if we keep getting corrupt, if we don't care about the elderly, we disregard authority, if we keep bribing the police. And if you keep doing that, the next 10 years, you will have actually formed a negative value system that is going to guide your life. The third point, quickly, is that values create a compass for destiny. It's a compass. And once your values are, sh are, are formed and they create a compass for you, you have already prophesied how your destiny is going to be. But don't be surprised. If we keep going this way in the next 10 years, 20 years, there may be extinction, which he mentioned. He's not calling for, he's not saying the, I mean, the entire country from the north to the mid belt to the southern belt, people will die. No. But as long as we lose our values as a nation, we don't have a nation. If anybody can meet you on the way and rob you and can go scot free, we have no nation. So values become a compass that guide destiny. And so if we are re engineering our values, we are shaping our destiny as a nation. A lot of young men complete school and they tell you, I'm jobless. And we have found something. If you ask them to go and volunteer their services, they say, no. Why should I volunteer my services for free? But ladies and gentlemen, the, the readiness to volunteer and the proclivity for pro-sociality, you want to be pro-social, you want to help others, actually shape what you believe are core values you hold on to. If you don't want to, of course, it affects your working ethic. If you don't want to volunteer, you cannot be a good worker because there are seasons and times when you are working not because of what you earn, but because you are interested. And if we, can, we can build such internal value systems and intrinsic values, we don't have a nation. To be honest with you, I, I was telling somebody that I have, I have a problem of reconciling disconnect between the pervasiveness of religion and the, and, the, and the willingness to be corrupt in Ghana. And in psychology of religion, there is always that disconnect. People may profess to be religious, and yet their religious values don't shape their moral decision. That's a serious issue. And if we have a nation where, in fact, a Gallup report in 2012 rated Ghana as the most religious nation on earth, and yet it's one of the most corrupt. So think about it. Because our values are not guiding certain moral decisions we make.